Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video what I'm going to do is try and replicate the new texture effect from Lightroom in Capture One. So when the latest version of Lightroom came out at the time of recording, um, it added a new feature called Texture and people seem to like this. Uh, texture is basically a way to enhance medium details in your image and Lightroom it's a single slider. So I previously looked at how to recreate the dehaze effect in Capture One. So I wanted to see if I could do a similar thing and recreate texture in Capture One as well. So after playing around for a little while, I did actually manage to come up with a way to do it. Um, it's not exact, but it does give you a very similar effect. So let me show you what to do. So to start off, I have both Capture One and Lightroom open here, and I am going to try and recreate the effect using this image. And then I will save it as a preset and see how it works on other images. So to start with, let me just jump over to Lightroom. So here's the same image in Lightroom. Now I've already tried to match the color and contrast and everything just so it's not jarring when I switch between the two of them. So I'm gonna start by ramping up texture. So I'm gonna push it all the way up full just so you can see. And this will be our starting point and then we can adjust it. Okay, so that's kind of the effect we're going for. Now, obviously that is too much um, and that is over-processed and I would never actually normally use that. But again, just for the purposes of demonstration, this is what I'm going to use as a starting point. So let me switch back to Capture One. So I've already worked out the process for this. Rather than bore you with lots of experimentation, I'm just going to go straight in and show you the settings that you need to use and talk you through the process. And once you have this set up once, uh, you can save it as a style and then you can apply it to in just one, pretty much one click or well, a couple of clicks. But anyway, let's dive right in. So the first thing you want to do is create a new layer. Um, so from the layers palette and I am in the exposure tab. So in the exposure tab, go down to the layers palette and go new filled layer. So it's vitally important that you use a fill layer and not an empty layer because you need the layer to have a full mask applied to it. Um, but anyway, don't worry about that. So what I've worked out is there's you need to apply a couple of different things to the layer and then you can use the overall opacity slider to control the effect. So the first thing I did was use the clarity tool. Now you might be thinking, hang on a second, clarity is different from texture. Um, so why would it be using that? But in Capture One, there's actually several different modes of clarity. And I went through each of these and tried different settings just to see if anything kind of matched. And I found that by using a little bit of clarity in the classic mode, combined with another effect, which I'll get to in a second, um, works quite well. So you just have to go with me on this for a second. So set your clarity to 50. Okay. And make sure it's set to classic. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to add some sharpening. Now, again, this may seem counterintuitive, but bear with me and I will explain why. So the, the texture effect is basically applying contrast to edges over a large radius. So if you imagine that you found all the edges in your image and then kind of traced over them with like a big thick marker and then blended that in and used that as a way to enhance the contrast on those edges, that's kind of what um, texture is doing in a very basic way. So you can kind of achieve a similar effect by using the sharpening tool if we use it in a way that it's not really supposed to be used. Um, and that is because this is just basically a non-sharp mask and part of that is finding edges and applying contrast to them. So what you want to do is, and we're kind of cheating this a bit, is to turn the radius all the way up. Now, I would prefer to have this even higher, but the, the highest value it lets you go in Capture One is 2.5. So once you have that set, you can start to bring up the amount and I reckon you need to set it to about 180. So now if you turn our layer on and off, you can see there is the effect that we have. And if we switch back over to Lightroom, there is the effect in Lightroom. So as you can see, as I said, it's not exact, but it's pretty similar. So if we switch back over to Capture One, um, it's a little bit smoother in Capture One. So once you have that set, um, you can use the opacity slider to now control the amount. So you now effectively have a texture slider in Capture One. Now, 
Unfortunately, at the moment, this kind of only goes the one way. Um, so it'll only give you positive textures. I haven't actually worked out how to do a negative version of this yet, but I um, will certainly add it to my list of things to do. And so to make this easier to apply in the future, what you need to do is save this as a style. So to do this, what you need to do is on the layer, right click on this and go save adjustments as style. And this will bring up the save style panel. So um, by default, these may be turned off. So it's important to turn on the correct item. So we want sharpening radius, sharpening amount and clarity. OK, and then save this. And this will bring up the option that you want. Now, I've already saved mine here. You can see it's texture. And I put the two dashes in front of it so that it puts it at the top of the list. OK, and I'm going to save because I've already saved it. So now you can go to another image and just apply texture to it. OK, so here is another image. And again, if I drag texture right up, you can see here is the effect of having 100% texture. So now if I switch back to Capture One, and I have the same image loaded in Capture One. So again, I'm going to add a new fill layer. And this time I'm going to load the settings I saved previously. So I want to go Apply Adjustments from User Styles and then select Texture. OK, and there it is at 100%. And if I switch back over to Lightroom, as you can see, the effect is broadly similar. Back to Capture One again, and I can actually just lower this down by using the opacity slider of the layer. And if we again switch back and forward, and as you can see, that is pretty similar. So there you go. That's how you create the texture effect in Capture One. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to get notifications, and check out my Patreon feed. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out some of my other Capture One videos, and have some more kind of similar Capture One type hacks like this including how to create dehaze in Capture One, and the link will be in the description below. So once again, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.